Hey everybody, this is Jamie from the DigitalDungeonMaster.com. Just wanted to give you a little uh, overview here of my Photoshop uh, VTT token frames template that I've created. It's available on the DigitalDungeonMaster.com. If you've downloaded the file, this is to kind of help you understand how to use it if you're not real, real familiar with Photoshop. What we have here is a couple different layers. We've got a frames group and we've got an artwork with mask group. We're going to start off looking at this frames group. And what you can see here is I've got three different versions of that token frame, a red, a green, and a blue. Now the token frame was originally uh, borrowed here from VTTA's tokenizer, Mr. Primate's uh, excellent tokenizer plugin that we have for Foundry. I used it because I wanted to just directly replace what was in the game or in that module without having to worry about remasking and all that kind of fun stuff. Um, you could use these in another virtual tabletop if you wanted to. To do so, you would simply turn off this artwork layer and then you could save out this blank frame here as a PNG file or a WebP file to then uh, import or use in your game to create your own tokens. That is what I have done. Uh, I use all three of these in my Foundry VTT campaign that I'm running. The files can be saved and then placed into a directory somewhere in your Foundry server. You can go into the tokenizer settings and point it over correctly. I've got a walkthrough for that in the digitaldungeonmaster.com in the same spot where you uh, can download this file. So if you want to do that, you can certainly uh, just save out the frames without the artwork on. You can also modify the color of the frame if you choose. Uh, I'm going to look at the blue one here. If you double click on the layer, it's going to open up the layer style frame. You go into the gradient overlay. You see here I've got a blue applied. Click on that, select the blue color, and then click on the frame and you'll get the color picker. You can move this anywhere you want and you'll see that it begins to immediately change it in the actual uh, token frame itself. I'm going to cancel that though because I'm going to use the blue. Once you've got the frame set the way that you want it to, again, you can export those out and just use the frames. But if you also want to be able to create your own tokens from within this Photoshop file, I've got it set up for you to do that as well. We'll go ahead and turn that artwork layer back on. Now you can see that each of these layers has a mask. That's so that all of the pieces that may be outside the circle uh, are outside of the frame are automatically hidden from view. And that also works on this smart object that we have set up for your artwork. If you go ahead and double click on that, it's going to open up this smart object. You'll see that you've got two items in here, the character art and a bounding box. This bounding box directly represents what the token frame piece looks like. So if you align your artwork in here inside that frame, it's going to show up correctly uh, when you save this and it overwrites and, and creates that token for you. Let me show you what that looks like. So I've got a piece of uh, artwork here that I found out on the internet using Google Images. It is a highly stylized uh, depiction of Conan the Barbarian. I love this art style. I want to use it as a token. I'm going to go ahead and right click and choose copy image. I'm going to pop back over into Photoshop. I'm going to control V to paste that. I can then move it around and center it inside that bounding box so that I've got it kind of framed out exactly the way that I want it. Once I do, I hit control S, which is going to save this smart object. If I jump back over, you'll see that we now have that art mask and insert it into the frame the way that we wanted it. And again, you can just go ahead and choose file, export it as a ping. Or if you've got the WebP plugins for uh, Photoshop, you can save that as a WebP file as well. Either of which would work really well in uh, Foundry VTT. So that's just been an overview of how you can go about using this file. Again, it's available for download. Um, you can use the token frames. You can also use it to create your own custom tokens or token frames if you want to change the colors or change the artwork. Uh, I've also included just the WebP versions of the different, the three different token frames I've got on the digitaldungeonmaster.com. So if you don't want to mess around with Photoshop at all, you can just download those three files and use those with Tokenizer. So I hope this helps. Thanks for uh, checking out the digitaldungeonmaster.com. If you uh, like what you see here, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and uh, keep checking back often. Thanks a lot for watching.